All right, it is time to check your answers to see what you got. So make sure you have that lab data sheet in front of you. We're gonna see which each one of these belong to. So we're gonna start with station number one with our pistachios. Remember it has that hard outer casing with the nut on the inside. This is also going to include acorns, peanuts, cashews, that sort of stuff. So this should be no surprise that station one is the category of nut. Station number two, we've got raspberries and strawberries. There's actually two categories here. One fits in the other one. So we've got raspberries, which are our aggregate fruits, which means, means a lot of different flowers have all formed together. And then our strawberries are aggregate akines. That's how you say that word is akine. And because it has all those seeds on the outside, it's a whole bunch of these basically little flowers that have formed together to form the strawberry. Blackberries also fit into this that are forming that aggregate fruit. Station number three, we have our maple seeds. Again, this is our two different categories. So we have both Samaras and Schizocarp. That's how you say that word, Schizocarp. So we have it as, so the Samara is the winged part of it. And then the Schizocarp is when it breaks off, it forms just one seed. Again, one seed that you can't just open up like a nut. So that's that Schizocarp. Station number four, this is going to include all of our um, citrus fruits, so limes, oranges. It has those different sections. It has a rind. It has the seeds on the outside, lots of different seeds. So it's actually a type of berry because it has all those seeds on the inside. That's an identifying feature. And it is part of Hesperidium, Hesperidium. So again, this is our limes and our oranges and our lemons. Station number four, so remember I identified, sorry, station number five, that's what I meant to say. So it's got that fleshy outer um, skin and then it also has that ovary on the inside. So this is also going to include um, fruits like pears and this is going to be our palms. That's how you say that, palm, like a pomegranate, but a pomegranate is not a palm, which is weird. Okay, station number six, these are our stone fruits. So it's going to be our avocados, our peaches, our plums mangoes, those are all going to be droops. I love that word, droop. Station number seven, almost there. So we've got our peppers and our zucchini. So remember, it's fleshy on the outside and it has lots and lots of attached seeds on the inside. That's the main feature here. So again, attached seeds. That is going to be our pepo, which is a type of berry. Remember that our, our identifying feature for a berry was lots of seeds on the inside and it's fleshy on the outside or in the inside like that. Um, Peppos can also include things like squash and pumpkins. Station number eight, we have added on to our lemons, our zucchinis, our, our um, oh my gosh, peppers. We are adding in our berries, our blueberries, because these are all berries. Did you know that a tomato is a berry? And again, it's because it's got, it's fleshy, so lots of fruit, literally fruity, um, I don't know, flesh on the inside, and lots of tiny seeds. So number eight is going to be berries. Okay, make sure that you have all of them written down. Make sure that you have your identifying features because you will, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, see this on your test next Friday. And you'll also have to write down some of those identifying characteristics as well. So make sure to write that stuff down. If you ever need to go back through this, feel free to do that.